Every time I do a video on crypto tax, there's always a lot of questions and there's a lot of confusion because I'll make a video and people will say, oh no, it's this. Oh, what about that? So I'm making this video today and this is the exact Cap uh, the the exact crypto tax rules which comes under capital gains for the tax year 2024 2025 at the time of recording which is the 22nd uh or is it 23rd 23rd of the, uh, september 2024 so everything at the time of this recording is up to date so you don't need to you know question anything that i say you don't need to google anything this is the full information here for you. Now, if you do want further information about crypto tax, you do want further information about, um, you know, how to do your tax return with the crypto tax, how to, uh, what you should do in terms of, uh, you know, cashing out with crypto tax, doing the tax return itself, um, using it in conjunction with Coinly. I do have a link for an actual crypto tax accountants, the uh, best one in the UK, the biggest one, minor accountants. Link in description, you can get a free consultation with my link. Just click the link in the description. Right, so let's get into it. Now, the current UK capital gains tax rules for the tax year 2024-2025 applies to various types of assets, including cryptocurrency. So here's some notes I've made and a summary of how these rules affect crypto transactions, long-term holdings, and also mentions crypto loans as well. The annual crypto tax, the annual capital gains tax allowance, was reduced this year to three thousand pounds. It was previously six thousand pounds in 2023, 2024, and it was also lower than that. Sorry, higher than that in previous tax years. But this tax year, it is three thousand. If your total gains exceed this allowance, you'll need to pay tax on the excess. Okay, and the capital gains tax rates are as follows: ten percent for basic rate taxpayers, 20% for higher and additional rate taxpayers, okay? Now, this was a question someone posted on here, and I think they were getting confused with what happens in the US in terms of how long you hold your crypto. In the UK, there is no distinction between short-term and long-term capital gains, as is in some countries like the US. Holding your crypto for over a year does not change the rate in which capital gains tax is applied. You are taxed at the same rate of either 10% or 20%, regardless of how long you have held the crypto. Another thing that people get confused about is, oh, I only get taxed on it when the cryptocurrency is uh, changed to pounds and it is into my bank account. When it lands in my bank account, only then am I liable for tax. Incorrect. Every transaction or most transactions are considered taxable events in the UK. So of course, selling your crypto for fiat, but swapping one cryptocurrency to another cryptocurrency is considered a taxable event. I.e., even if you are technically using a decentralized exchange, and let's just say you are swapping Bitcoin or just two assets, whatever it is, Ethereum for an Ethereum-based coin. If you have, if you let's just say you bought Ethereum, okay, and when you swap Ethereum for another coin, if the price of Ethereum has gone up since you bought it, when you swap it for this other coin, you are liable to pay tax on that. Obviously, if it's above the three k threshold, okay, if you made a month three k profit, people don't realise that. And yes, even though it's not landed in your bank, and yes, even though it's on the blockchain, you are liable for that. And people will say, how did the government know that? Technically, they won't know that. However, it is up to you, and it is your responsibility to declare that through your capital gains tax return. And again, for more information on how you do that, you can contact minor accountants who are the experts with my link. Now, another thing people don't realise is they're like, okay, well, if I'm swapping it, if I'm selling it, what if I just use it to bit buy uh, goods or services? So we know that, for example, there's a website called traveler.com where you can pay for flights and hotels with crypto, i.e. Bitcoin, Ethereum, even Dogecoin. However, the moment you pay 
for those goods with crypto or those services with crypto. You can also get gift cards. The same rule applies. Let's just say you bought Ethereum. Uh, let's just make it easy. You bought Ethereum at $1,000. If Ethereum then reaches $3,000 and you're you know, paying for a holiday in the Caribbean with your Ethereum and it costs you five, six K and you've made more than three K profit, then you're liable for tax on that. Another thing is gifting crypto. If you give crypto to someone, you've made uh, gains, you're eligible for tax. The only exception of this is your spouse. However, if you were to give crypto to your spouse, they would then come under them same rules. So all you're doing is kicking the can down the road. So let's just say the Ethereum example. You buy Ethereum, goes up in price, you send it to your spouse, but then the whole rule just transfers across to her so, or him. And when they sell it, then the capital gains tax will just kick in again. So it's not really doing anything to avoid that because you may, may as well have kept it unless you're being generous. Each of these could result in capital gains or loss, therefore trigger a taxable event. And crypto to crypto trades are often overlooked, but they do trigger capital gains tax in the UK. The other thing is crypto loans. Borrowing crypto or taking out a loan backed by crypto does not usually actually trigger capital gains tax because you're not disposing of it, you're simply using it as collateral. So i.e. you lock up your Ethereum, you get out some stable coin, you can do what you want with that stable coin, you can transfer it into fiat into your bank, that wouldn't trigger a taxable event because you've locked up your uh, Ethereum. However, if, and you know this when you get crypto loans, if you trigger a, tax, a taxable event, i.e. if your crypto you've locked up gets liquidated or some of it gets liquidated because of the margin call price, then you're liable to pay tax on it if you've made a profit. If you're unsure of what that is with crypto loans, I do teach that in my crypto masterclass course. There is a link in the description. There should be for a call. I could possibly be away on holiday when this video goes live. So bear with me. Um, I should be back uh, in a week or so of this, this video going live. Now, any interest as well. So if you were to lock up your Ethereum as collateral, get stablecoin out. If you were to earn uh, interest on that stablecoin with DeFi, you'd be eligible for income tax as well. To summarise, the annual capital gains tax allowance including crypto, is 3K for this tax year. Capital gains tax is 10% or 20%, depending on your tax bracket. It doesn't matter how long you've held it. It just matters uh, on your tax bracket. Most transactions involving crypto trigger a taxable event, including crypto-to-crypto -crypto trades. Taking out a loan against your uh, crypto does not, does not trigger a taxable event, but liquidation of that collateral does. Okay? And this could all change in five weeks' time when the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rachel Reeves, announces the autumn budget, which could instantly change this tax year's rules. I don't think that's likely to change this tax year's rules. It's probably going to be next year, but something's going to happen in terms of the rules for capital gains. And I'm going to do a video with Miner breaking down what it is, how it works, and... Um, so you can understand the changes and then obviously if you want further information you can contact miner after that but this is it at the moment before this autumn announcement these are the rules that are set in stone um for you if you do need um any clarification like i said contact miner and if you do like my content subscribe to the channel like the video and i'll see you guys very soon